Hey guys and welcome to another entry in 10 Years Old Today, the show where I talk about movies that turn 10 years old on the day of release, as well as giving you a little bit of a kick in the nostalgic gut. Today's episode we're going to be talking about Rambo, the latest entry in the Rambo series. This film was released on January 25th, 2008. It was written, directed, and obviously starred Sylvester Stallone. It took place in Burma with a very grumpy, very grudgy Rambo assisting slash not assisting these Christian missionaries who want to go into Burma and help the people whereas he is just like you're not bringing guns, you're not doing nothing. All the while there is this mercenary group that goes along with the Christian missionaries to try and save them but then they get captured as well as the missionaries and then in turn it turns out that the only person who can save them is Rambo by literally eviscerating everyone. There's two things I remember about this movie in particular. One is that really dark line from the trailer where he says when you're pushed killing's as easy as breathing it's a pretty dark but kind of pretty kick-ass line and the entire end climax there are a few little things here and there throughout the movie that i kind of remember mainly just how ridiculously obnoxious and stupid the missionaries were as well as the fact that Rambo literally killed the dude by grabbing his throat and ripping it out of him but it's really the ending that everyone remembers when he jumps up on that 50 cal completely blows the crap out of the driver in front of him and then turns his aim on those radical extremist forces and just blows the shit out of them I just remember being in complete awe at the amount of gore that I was witnessing. At the time, I hadn't really seen any movie that had pushed the gore limit. If anything, I've actually never seen any of the Rambo movies aside from this one in full. The thing I do know, however, is that the first movie was filmed up in Hope, which is actually about an hour's drive from me and that town refuses to let you forget that the movie was filmed there. They even held their 35th anniversary of the film being shot there only last year in October. So it's a pretty big mainstay in the town of Hope, because there's not really much else there to be really talked about. Aside from the gore and just kind of the really cool and grumpy Rambo in this movie, this really isn't much of a memorable film. It was kind of a part of Sylvester Stallone's want to revitalize his old characters just for one last go. He had done Rocky Balboa and so he did Rambo. Admittedly, Rocky Balboa I think is better than Rambo in terms of just revitalizing something as we were eventually able to get Creed with Sylvester Stallone giving probably his best performance since the first movie. Whereas Rambo, they've been talking about doing another film for years, but literally it has now been 10 years since this film came out, and you can effectively say that the series is pretty much dead. I think the film tried to complete a full circle with Rambo eventually going back home and living in the United States, as that was kind of the whole idea of him. He was a soldier without a home, and throughout the series, he, that had always been a mainstay struggle for him. So in the end, I'll say that Rambo is still an enjoyable time for those who like really over-the-top, violent, gory war movies, but it's definitely not one of the mainstay in terms of Sylvester Stallone's films. But, as I said, it is an interesting entry and it is a movie that has stuck with me for not the best of reasons for the longest time. Oh, I almost forgot, you remember that part where he stabs the general with the machete and literally rips his intestines out? That shit was kinda cool. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of 10 Years Later. Stay tuned for the next episode. Won't be for a little bit, but it's going to talk about someone a little whiny, but until then, hope you guys like this video. If you like it, leave a like down below, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways guys, that's all from me. See you guys next time.